Hey guys, Jason here. You know, it seems like I'm constantly accused of being a System76 fanboy. I honestly have no idea what would give people that impression. But just to avoid any bias on this video, I'm gonna let Shickle tell you all about the brand new thing coming from System76. Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. I'm Shickle, even if my mother refuses to call me that. Today, I have some fantastic news regarding System76's Galago Pro, which is my favorite laptop of their lineup, and it's making a comeback. The Galago Pro will be packing quite a punch this time around, featuring Intel's 11th generation core processors and the base model shipping with the long-awaited Z graphics, which... For those of you who don't know, this is a huge step up for Intel uh, processors because this is going to mean improvements in not only graphics efficiency, but also just overall power because Intel's processors have lacked strong GPUs inside of them for quite a while. You can also spec out your Galago Pro with an NVIDIA GTX 1650, which can be incredibly handy for not only those of you who want to game on the go, but for those of you who say perhaps want to stream or record on the go. The NVENC encoders can be incredibly powerful and incredibly efficient, but it also brings really awesome things like CUDA to your disposal. And one of the great things about System76 is that they make it incredibly easy to use NVIDIA GPUs with Linux, and I've got to hand it to them. Pop! OS is an absolute dream when it comes to switching between integrated and dedicated graphics here. You can expect to see Galago Pros with the NVIDIA cards in them shipping in early December, but you can order them at launch, which I think is awesome. An important note about the Galago Pro as well is the open firmware. Yeah, System76 has outdone themselves again. Faster boot times, better resume from suspend, better resume from hibernation, as well as a disabled Intel ME. With offerings of i5 and and i7 processors here, as well as up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of NVMe storage, Thunderbolt 4, I'm blown away at what a powerhouse, just a workhorse, this small, thin and light machine can be. And I'm really, really excited to see what people do with it. Now, the Galago Pro, as I mentioned earlier, is my favorite laptop from System76, but I was not expecting to see this much in such a package. It features a 14.1 inch full HD display with a matte finish and a 49 watt hour battery. Beyond that, you've got your backlit keyboard, which is great for seeing in the dark. I hate not being able to see my keyboard, even though I can touch type. Now the Galago Pro also features Thunderbolt 4, which is awesome news because even if you don't go for that GTX 1650 upgrade inside your Galago Pro, you can use that Thunderbolt port to get an external GPU and pretty much beef it out to as big of a GPU you want externally. So to break down what I think of this, first and foremost, awesome. I've always been a fan of the smaller form factor laptops, but with the kind of power this thing can be specced out to deliver, those Z graphics are a huge step up over what Intel's previous integrated graphics had. But beyond that, Thunderbolt 4, I mean, this means you can expand your, your GPU power with external devices, or you can use really high speed external storage devices that utilize Thunderbolt, and it's gonna probably blow just about anything out of the water. So there's no shortage of internal storage, but you've got ethernet, which is super rare, but also incredibly nice to have. And I know Linux users love their ports, so they definitely did not disappoint here in my opinion, especially because it's still got HDMI. You haven't sacrificed that for just the USB-C, but it's also got video out over USB-C should you want it. It's just an incredibly impressive little package. A couple of the most important things about this laptop is, is System 76's open firmware and their embedded controller firmware or EC firmware. Now, the thing right out of the box that I can tell you is it's going to make boot times faster. Resume from suspend is going to be faster. Actually, Jason very well demonstrated it in a video and I was rather impressed. I've always been a fan of fast boot times. But what this also does is give them even finer control over the hardware, and that includes fan cooling, it includes battery control. It basically means that you can expect to see incredibly fine tuning done to this laptop. And, and System76 has historically 
asked for feedback on how they can improve these things. They've asked for other people's perspectives on what they can optimize and improve. And with open firmware, it gives them a lot more flexibility to fine tune these things to levels that typically would not be possible. This is my first choice in what I would buy if I was buying a Linux laptop right now, because they've definitely shown that they're willing to put in the work here to optimize the hardware, to optimize the software, to optimize the firmware, and that's just really cool to see. You can expect to see the Galago Pro for a base price of $999, and configurations with NVIDIA cards shipping early December, but you can order them now, which I think is awesome because it's good to be prepared. I'm really excited to see more from System76 like this. You can go to system76.com slash laptop slash Galago because URLs that read right just make sense. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everybody who supports the channel. Thank you to everybody in the community who who engages with us and, and who supports us and who buys our merch. By the way, we have a new store with awesome mugs like this Linux for everyone Linux plus coffee coffee mug a favorite of mine not that I'm biased we've also got hoodies and t-shirts and travel mugs and you can find more in the description below where all those awesome things happen like comments from you guys which we absolutely love see you guys in the next one